Hey everybody, Jace Allen here from Rum Runner Guitars. Welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon. And today I am reviewing a Epiphone Masterbuilt DR500 MNS. So stick around. Welcome back everybody, Jace Allen here from Rum Runner Guitars. And today I am reviewing an Epiphone Masterbuilt DR500 MNS. And here it is. First of all, for the specs, it's a dreadnought shape acoustic guitar. Uh, it's got a solid Sitka spruce top. Uh, the neck and the back and the sides are solid mahogany. Uh, it's got a rosewood fingerboard. The scale length is 25 and a half inches long. It's got a 10 inch fretboard radius. Uh, 20 frets, uh, one in 23 and 32nd inch uh, nut width, uh, bone saddle, bone nut, and it comes in at less than five pounds. And it's a very beautiful guitar, and so uh, how does it sound? <laughs> So, my final thoughts on the Epiphone Masterbuilt DR500 MNS. This is an amazing guitar, it sounds incredible. Uh, the build quality is really nice. Uh, I like the binding, uh, it's got a multi-layer binding on the front and the back. It's got the nifty little stripe on the back, that's a really neat detail. Uh, it's even got the stripe on the end which is nice um, it's an attention to detail that you see in uh, higher end uh, guitars uh, the neck is bound uh, it's got the star or snowflake style fret markers uh, which is very nice uh, headstock logo and the uh, headstock shape are a little different uh, usually it's the open book style on the epiphones but this I don't know if this is a retro style or what but that's kind of neat it gives it a little bit different look and the epiphone uh, logo looks different like it's maybe a, a retro style and you got this little detail here which is cool uh, and then the uh, cover for the uh, truss rod is neat and then I, I always like these sort of vintage style open back tuners with the I think they're called the butterbean knobs on them 
those are really nice. It gives it a, a really sort of uh, vintage look to it. Um, what else can I say about this? Uh, plugged in, sounds okay. I'm not sure that the uh, under saddle pickup that came with this one is stock. Uh, I think these guitars uh, were un, you know, there was no pickups in them. So that might have been added later. But you could always put like a K&K &K Pure Mini in this or some other type of uh, pickup system that sounds better. But uh, just on its own with the microphones, oh my gosh, the, the sound quality is amazing. So let's get on to a few sort of caveats to this review <clears throat> in that, first of all, I did buy this uh, used secondhand. Um, the, the, I, I think these are out of production, I'm not sure. Um, but the one thing that's going on with this one is the bridge is starting to lift away from the body in the back. Um, and <laughs> a huge uh, issue with this particular guitar is the neck is actually incorrectly set. <laughs> so you can't really see it on the video probably, but the neck, this is f flat and then the neck sort of dives down ever so slightly. And so the action is super good up in here. And then when you get here, it's pretty high. So that neck is actually dipping. You probably can't see it, I'm pretty sure, but it's, if you look down it, it actually drops. It comes across the top of the guitar and then it slopes. And it's, it's very, you know, subtle, but it's there and that affects, you know, your ability to set your your bridge or your yeah your saddle and uh, have your action set where you want it. So, I mean, obviously this guitar was built that way. It's not you know it's not like somebody you know. I mean, you couldn't if you tighten the strings up too much or you adjusted the tress rod too much, it would just create a bow or a concave in the neck rather than that that slope so it it was built that way so <laughs> uh, I don't know that's kind of a kind of a you know not so good so um, you know it could be just an anomaly with this particular uh, guitar uh, it plays really well it, it doesn't really affect uh, the playability of it uh, unless you want to get like I said you want to get that action I mean the action isn't terrible on the 12th fret that's a little high but it's not terrible um, dreadnought shape there's no cutaway so you're not going to be probably playing down in here anyway so it's a good strumming uh, guitar this guitar this is a beautiful guitar it is extremely well made beautiful wood it's solid wood um, this guitar hasn't even the people that owned it before didn't even take the plastic off the pick card so it's amazing what kind of uh, finds you can get out there. And the case that comes with it is, is quite impressive too. It's a soft case, but it's, it's, it's padded real well. It's got some structure to it. And uh, so, yeah, this is a great guitar. If you can find one of these on the secondary market, I would uh, recommend picking one up. I think I paid... Um, right around $500 for this. I think they sold for maybe between five and $600. So I, I probably overpaid for it for <laughs> being that it's used and it's flawed, but uh, I'm pretty happy with how it sounds. I might just keep this for my studio because this sounds really good. It's got a really great tone to it when it's mic'd. So I might just keep it for that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. But anyway, that's my review on the Epiphone Masterbuilt DR500 MNS. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we will see you next time on the Guitar Dungeon. Thank you.